We are in an area once called no man's land, where an insane amount of banditry would occur in the early 1800s. Spain had control of Texas, while Louisiana was under the French flag, and for many years, Spain was concerned about French encroachment. Around 1734, the French moved their post at Natchitoches from the east side to the west side of the Red River into Spanish territory. In 1753, the Spanish governor in Texas determined that the French had encroached to the west of a small creek that was the former boundary called the Arroyo Hondo in western Natchitoches Parish. In 1764, the boundary dispute became temporarily pushed to the side when France ceded its Louisiana colony to Spain, but the transfer was made without resolving the earlier border dispute, which didn't seem as significant under the circumstances. On October 1, 1800, a secret treaty was signed called the Third Treaty of San Ildefonso, which formally transferred Louisiana back to France. The terms of the treaty did not specify the borders of the territory being returned, though. You can see where this will become an issue when three years later, in 1803, Louisiana was sold to the United States for $15 million. The U.S. claimed the same boundaries France had claimed before the transfer to Spain, which was to the Sabine River. Spanish claims were the same as before, to the Arroyo Hondo in Natchitoches Parish and south of the Kisatachi Hills to the Calcasieu River. Negotiations to resolve this dispute completely broke down in 1805 when Spain severed diplomatic ties completely with the United States. From 1805 to 1806, there were continual skirmishing, both verbal and militarily, around the Sabine River, and rumors began circulating that both sides were funneling troops into the area and were preparing for war. Luckily, that wasn't true, as neither side wanted to go to war over this dispute. So in order to stop any skirmish from getting out of hand, the two military commanders in the area came together for a meeting. U.S. General James Wilkinson and Spanish Lieutenant Colonel Simon de Herrera signed an agreement declaring that the disputed territory be called the neutral ground until the boundary could be determined by the respective governments. The agreement was not a treaty and it wasn't ratified on either government side, although it was largely respected. Even with this agreement, the boundaries of the neutral ground were not entirely specified. The Arroyo Hondo and Calcasieu River were the eastern boundary, with the Sabine River serving as the western boundary. It included portions of the present-day Louisiana parishes of DeSoto, Sabine, Natchitoches, Vernon, Rapides, Beauregard, Allen, Calcasieu, Jefferson Davis, and Cameron. The area covered by the agreement was declared off-limits to soldiers of both countries. The agreement also stipulated that no settlers would be permitted into the neutral ground, so of course, settlers from New Spain and the United States territory began to move in. Some of these settlers would form the beginnings of Louisiana's red bone race of people that will be explained in more detail in a separate video. This lawless area quickly became known as no man's land and would also attract runaway slaves, exiles, outlaws, deserters, political refugees, fortune seekers, and a variety of criminals. Eventually, the outlaws organized to the degree that they manned outposts and organized spies in order to better steal from travelers and avoid the American and Spanish military. In 1810 and again in 1812, the two governments sent joint military expeditions into the area to expel these outlaws. The adams onis Treaty in 1821 recognized the U.S. claim, setting the border at the Sabine River, and Spain surrendered any claim to the area. We couldn't bring you this information without your support on Patreon, and we'd like to thank those of you who have contributed and encourage anyone watching this video right now to consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Louisiana Dread. Drive around no man's land on your next Louisiana road trip, and for more Louisiana history, horror, folklore, and culture, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread Quick History.